All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don. What up? And my boy Christopher, the conch over there. Concho solo. All right, guys. So we just got through seeing season seven, episode eight, which was the mid-season finale of The Walking Dead, baby. So did we finally get what we wanted all season? Worst season or... ever. What? <laughs> <laughs> Worst half season ever. It wasn't a bad season, I would have to say. Well, but the episode, though. I have to say, sorry, it's not the worst season ever. I actually this this episode reminded me of what the show's about and the build up. Although I would really would have wished for a little bit more for some of the episodes, but the build up and the the, the character build up, I I, I I went back after this this episode and said. Okay, you know what? I'm a little, I'm a little content with this season. I'm okay. Okay, so you saw the first episode, and then you got lost, and then you got reminded what the season, and what the, the series, series was I got about. Lo- so this last episode overall did do what we wanted it to do all season, which is bring everything together. But it could do that because it, it established this background, and this this episode was very climactic. It, it did everything. Negan did a lot more than we expected him to do, and caught us off surprise, which is what Walking Dead's about. So oh, you right, do well, have guts. <laughs> Thank you. So we start off with Negan and his side chick Carl in the bathroom. Uh, he's great. shaving. <laughs> what is he doing? He's sitting there watching this man shave. Let me get you out of shave, boy. <laughs> this is how grown man shaves. <laughs> right against the grain. <laughs> so I'm like, Carl, you can't you can't at least stand in the doorway or something. Oh man. Why you gotta be sitting in there on the yeah. chair? Or at least be like like you're disinterested like this. Some he like wow, that's a real man in that mirror. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, Carl. They just really downplayed him. I don't know how he can recover. He needs a whole new makeover he's, if he's gonna recover. And let me see someone new. This little female yeah. hair in the wind thing not working because now he's like the side chick. Watching this man <laughs> shave. My God. Uh, we have shot so you in Alexandria. <laughs> <laughs> and and then when when uh, Negan is cooking and he asks him, "Do you want to taste?" I'm like, "Boy, if you open up your mouth <laughs> to taste some of that damn spaghetti." <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. Oh man. I really didn't know. I was like, so, "Don't you dare." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right. Carl has been very uh, complacent oh, man. Um, since he got that gun taken away from him. Yeah, man. Uh, I know it's, that's your boy. Um, you know, I boy. I not am man. frustrated with with, <laughs> with Carl on the whole. Like, I just I wish that they would finally write him and nut him up a little bit more. But it's like he gets that little little cut, and then they bring him back here. And it's just, I mean, I, I know Rick is the rebuttal at the end of this episode, but. Maybe, maybe they're waiting for him to hit puberty and then to do the other half of the. Well, the he's show. like seventeen years old now. He has to hit puberty. Yeah, like, he's, what is that? He's got. He's got to start doing. I mean, uh, take some testosterone, man. So then we got Rick and the curly haired dude. I'm not sure what his name is. They're going on their little adventure. <laughs> yes. Um, it seemed, I guess, kind of significant. It was. It's kind of cool. I've never really seen, I guess, walkers in the water like that. Yeah. So they did something different with that. I kind of like that. In that I thought episode. that curly haired dude was for sure gonna die in this episode. Oh, I'd have loved it though if he did. <laughs> <laughs> More drama, right? Because <laughs> he, he has a deceitful face. I feel like he can't be trusted. That just to me. Maybe you guys. No, maybe I'm tripping. He just seems like he's gonna like run out on someone or yeah. you know stab someone in the back or whatever. He's gonna. So Son. did Daryl snap? I, you know what? Daryl no, didn't he snap. didn't snap. No, he held. He, you know what? <clears throat> as much uh, you know, we we say that he doesn't have a, a very clever and witty things, but he knows how to survive, man. And one of those things oh, about definitely. surviving is that he has a very strong mindset. Mm-hmm. You know, because for as much torture and like really. You know, abstract torture that they did with blasting the noise and all these different things. You know, he he still got away. You yeah. Know? And and you know what? You say he's stealthy Jesus, but he just showed up as soon as Daryl was gonna walk out. So I don't see that. <laughs> hold on, hold on. He's the one that slipped the note under the door, which means he got past all that bullshit. He got in there on the truck, and he got past all the guards. Was completely unseen. Managed to get through all that, and then get back there. He, I'm sorry. I hear you, but, you but I didn't see that. Though. Yeah, exactly. You, don't have to show, see it. you just know we did it. And the show, no, no. what they're showing me, wasn't that. So <laughs> I'm with. I mean, I'm yeah. with you. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's what had to happen. Right. But I would like to see it's it. It's called the suspense of disbelief. I don't know. They um, they they, okay. they, they didn't do a lot of good editing there because I mean yeah I'm like all of a sudden Daryl has this note and then he meets Jesus and I'm just like 
what happened? What's going Did on? Did you see it last time? Well, he tossed it under, he picked up the note, and it said, go now. Like, I mean, I figured that who that else is going to do that? Negan's wife. Yeah, but I mean, you're talking about Jesus being stealthy. I'm like, uh, mostly. He's over-exaggerating he here. There, I'm sorry. But I'm but, assuming Jesus' wife had told him, they gave him the note, leave now, because Negan's not there. Yeah. Um, so, I, I, kinda, I get it, but, you know, I, I feel you too. I, I'm happy that Daryl finally got away, and he joined the group, you know? Uh, yeah. <sighs> He killed the shit out of that dude, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, if it worked for Negan. <laughs> I wish I would have shown it, though. That would have been kind of cool. Oh, man, that would have been brutal. What's wrong I'm with like, you? They might, show, they might want to show when Negan hey. comes back to it. No, but I know what you mean, yeah. I yeah. mean, we're going we're gonna to see our team get beat up. Right. We're going to see their team get yeah. beat up. Yeah, And Ooh, I mean, yeah. like, yeah, why not? You're, you're all Negan, right? <laughs> oh, all of a sudden you're not all Negan. Okay. So what's going on with, what's, what's going on with Carol? Like... Carol. Is she still stuck on this whole, I don't want to oh, be God. around All of a sudden, death? she turned into a Buddhist, you know? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all lives matter, bro. <laughs> Carol, you know, like, she's yeah, just so the guy, The guy from the Knights come in there, and he's like, yo, I'm glad you guys are here. You need to convince uh, Ezekiel that we need to go fight this dude because we don't want to get caught off guard. Right. And she's like, uh, I don't have nothing to do with that. Right. I think yes. Carol just had I'm enough like, it. If Carol could just... <laughs> Exactly. I hear I you. The exact same way. Oh, my God. She's like, well, listen, whether or not you want to have it, you're going to get thrown into the fray, yeah. and you just got to choose your sides, you know? What are you, what are you thinking? Oh, no, I'm just, uh, like, I'm going along with the whole drama aspect of it. It just, she's had enough. And she doesn't want to do it anymore. It's too much on her conscious. Uh, she's having one of those PST moments. Like, just, like, So just walk her. into a herd of walkers, and it's over. <clears throat> You don't have to worry about anything else she, ever again. She, well, she enjoys living. She, she's fine where she's at. She's got a house. She's got what she needs. She just wants to be left alone. I don't know. It's a little bit out of her character, but I'll, I'll digress. We'll see what happens. I, I think we've lost a lot of characters in their characters this past season. Uh, like, we've lost a lot of who everybody actually is, how who they've been for the past couple. This is all more of circumstances. Taken. This is just written into the show. I don't think, I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. You know who Negan is. You right, know what he yeah. can do. Um, you know his range. So it could you can't also be the writers being. Be I'm sorry. It could be uh, the thing is that just as a character person too. Just saying, if they could be breaking down these characters a little bit more, so we're not so attached to them, so they can start bringing in more. Because that's why they haven't killed characters off in the past mm -hmm. is because we're attached to them so much. So they've got to kill them a little bit, bring them back in a different way, so we have a little I, new order. I agree with that. Like I, I see, <clears> like <throat> they're downplaying her character so that when she actually finally does something, it's more significant. Yeah. But isn't that pretty whack that they're downplaying her character just so that they give her a time to yeah. shine? I mean, that's know? why. That's why everyone says it's they like, need a Game of Thrones we, a thing we because did, we can like I, them and they can die and right. still be like, "Damn you!" But I'm still gonna watch. But I mean, like so. she did really <clears> awesome, <throat> like in Terminus. I mean, she freed everyone back oh, yeah. then. No, no, no. So it's just like. You know, they're da they downplayed her character back then because then we didn't know what she was capable of and mm -hmm. look at what happened there. And we're not asking her to do Terminus again. No. But yeah, you at I least mean, need to just prepare yourself. But just be with the group, man. Yeah. Like, don't no, try to, like, it. be, like, little old lady in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> you know? like, right. Hey, she just wants to be Granny and she wants to make apples. And so <laughs> this dude is literally snitching. Oh, you snake. On Rick. <laughs> oh, you had it coming. You guys know his name because I don't know his name. He's not in enough episodes, but he's the... His I name guess, is uh, Guts his, spilled out. <laughs> his mom used to run Alexandria for Rick came, and this guy is just like, my mama used to own this, so it should belong to me. And he snapped. To me, I, as soon as he starts talking about Rick, I'm like, are you snitching right now? Oh, yeah. Totally. Like, you you entitled little brat. What like, blew me away <laughs> What blew me away is when he told the girl, I'm going to go over there. And since I'm like I'm up here with him right now, I'm going to go over there. And maybe, you know, months and years down the line, know, we can right? win. Oh, my and I'm years? Like, what the hell? What? <laughs> years? So he just wants his mouth wide open underneath the crotch of Negan. For years, yeah. just to wait on the opportunity to crunch down. Well, at no. least I, oh, I, I run this little spot. Yeah. Heck no. Um, I thought he was talking about that girl. I thought he was going to bring the, 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 I guess, the whiskey to the girl and kind of get in good with her. Oh, no. I knew right away that, I mean. I'm like, how are, you, how are you good with Negan? Like, you haven't even talked to him, have you? No. Mm -hmm. So, what are you talking about? So, when he's, he's sitting there playing pool and Rick is this, this, and that, I'm like, bro. Yes. But the cold part is. The awesome part. Little Carl is right on the porch oh, listening to this man talk about his dad like that. 
You just, you're just, you're, right. you're, like, you're like gunning for Carl, man. Dude, seriously, they panned though. over to him. Yeah. He did. It's like, <laughs> Carl, you going to say something? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay, keep it going. <laughs> Carl, <laughs> still? <laughs> Nothing new? <laughs> right. All right. I, I hate like it Carl. so much. You're not going to talk about your daddy like Carl! that. Carl! <laughs> and Carl's just like, like, like. Nothing. Nothing. Got nothing to yeah. say. Not like, hey, stop talking about my dad before he comes over here and shoots your ass. I know, right? Like, shut up, man. Something. Yeah. Oh, my God. Carl just like, well. Yeah. Let's go to the actual yeah. episode. Yeah. Yes. What do you guys think about the episode? I, I, could just uh, go on I like the episode. Him, uh, I was I definitely frustrated because I wish that this like, episode could have been like, moved up like, like to, like, scary. episode four. And then they could have just rewritten everything else afterwards. Yeah. So, I mean, there was about four episodes that I really liked, including, like, the very first one. Uh, maybe yeah, this one, I shot the fourth out. one, and then shot one other one, and, and then the rest of them were filler episodes to me. Yeah, and you know, finally, what we're getting in this episode is they're Rose going back and forth between different now. scenes. I mean, we're seeing where Daryl is, and then we're cutting over and we're seeing where Carol is, and then we're cutting over and we're seeing what Michonne and Rick and what everyone else is doing and what every other TV show is doing with their filmography. So finally, we're back on pace. Yeah, I really like the story. I like the storytelling. Because, so like you said, we got to see everyone. Because that's what I like to show yeah, for I mean, is the actual team like that, that they have with the group. Team. I don't so want to see one person because I don't think any one person can hold the show like up. The so best thing no, I think that yeah. seeing a team thinking, of people was great. And I love the all actual I was thinking while this guy uh, was score. Talking, the music was great because it actually made it a made it dramatic. You yeah, know, just, everyone says, oh, it's yeah, a drama. You guys are, you know, people. reviewing this. as a lector and says, look, you don't have any guts. Oh, wait, you do. Yeah, I have never been so wrong in all my life. <laughs> <laughs> and this knife was a buoy knife. This thing was huge. Yeah, it was like, a big freaking... Sh- I don't even know where the hell he pulled it out from. I didn't see it on him. He had it on his own. Did he? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, that's right. Snitches <laughs> need stitches. <laughs> Seriously, man. I was like, karma. Yes. I mean, Loved it. There, so, I mean, that kind of shows us that, uh, you know, uh, Negan, he does have some kind of a justice, uh, you know, some weird, twisted morale sense of, like, his code. Yeah. It's interesting that you say that because the very next scene, we see Rick pull up and he's yeah. like, what's going on? And he's like, whoa, so I'm doing you a favor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yo, your son and machine gun my people. I brought back. him back. I brought him back. And I fed him spaghetti. <laughs> this girl tried to shoot me. Right. <laughs> this girl tried to shoot me, and I'm taking one guy, one person off your hands to feed. Yeah. Like, I'm doing you a favor. Cause, I mean, yeah. honestly, he could have did way worse. Oh, yeah. I'd have killed Carl. Yeah. Right there. We never went back. Never went back. Yeah. I'd have killed that girl. I don't even know why he's even looking at no bullet. What are you talking about? What, what are you looking at bullets for? Yeah. But I get it. They wrote it in there. You got to know where he got the bullet from. Sure. But really... I wouldn't be looking at bullets. She'd have been gone. Um, so he's really doing him a favor. Honestly, he could have been oh, yeah. a lot worse. So I think you're right. He does have some yeah. sense of like justice or Look, fairness. When you think about some of these other communities and what Negan has actually done, he is straight up taking a community, that one coastal community, and killed all the dudes. Everyone that oh, yeah. was like Ocean 10 side. years and older... Killed all those males. He makes a statement. You know? He puts his footprint. He gets them under their boots. So it's not like something that he's not capable of doing. It's just something that he has like a twisted sense of, you know, Negan code. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I would say it was something like this. Like he does want to put the world back together, but he wants to make sure he's at on top. Oh, definitely. Yeah. 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 So when you have people out. kneeling to you, you know, that's like something implanted. You know, something, some kind of psyche. Right. He doesn't want to um, just kill everyone that uh, opposes him. Right. But. I need to be on top when we get mm-hmm. this shit together. And he does have a sense of respect for Rick in the way that he's like, Rick's out there getting <laughs> my <laughs> stuff, <laughs> and you're <laughs> over here, and you're trying to take his spot behind trying his back. Trying to slither in. <laughs> and that I was so like, awesome. Dude, I kind of like so awesome. <laughs> he's like He's like the villain that you want to hate. He's a love and, to and hate like, him. He's a I love like to that, hate though. Him. Right. He's like, so you want me to take out the guy that's doing work for me Put in and replace him with the Slytherin snake? Yeah. Huh, huh. <laughs> Watch the snakes come out of you. Right. Like, yeah. So I, talking about I thought that yeah. was awesome. And so immediately after, he um, he doesn't kill anybody else, but he does find out that it was uh, Eugene that made the bullet. He's yeah. crying ass. And, yeah, I mean, his punk can get out of here. I did it. Yeah. It was me. 
Right. So, you know, he, he hauls away everything and he takes Eugene, which I think, you know, they obviously got a factory where Negan's at. I don't know what they make, if it's just iron or something. Oh, uh, no, they came across the bullet factory. Remember, they were at one, I think it was, uh, for, it was well, I know Eugene ago. did, but, um, yeah, but I, I wasn't sure they if they might have to go back there. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to end up happening next. Um, so actually, maybe they'll have Eugene make that these in, bullets. That is in the comic book. That's, that quantity. ends up being the trade value for Alexandria. So, I mean, we have that going on, so we could expect, like, maybe, uh, you know, more ammo for Negan's side, but, like, Rick's got But they got all the goddamn guns, so I don't even know why that's going to be relevant the next season. Well, I don't just, know how long Negan's going to stay. It doesn't seem like they're having but... much difficulty finding guns. Like, I mean, Rick, now that Rick's got his umph back, you know, he can he can start working the back alley, you know, start uniting everything, and he'll get access. It's, it's going to happen. Like, it... Right, so we get the ending, you know, um, everyone goes up to the hill, mm-hmm. all the main characters anyway, and they reunite. We got uh, Daryl and Rick and Michonne and uh, Maggie and all them. So mm-hmm. now we're going to do our little think tank. Do you think you guys think that they're going to go back to the Ocean Siders? They don't have any guns. I think that at this point, yes. Uh, so basically everyone coming back together, and the one thing that kind of frustrated the heck out of me as Rick told Maggie you were right all, all along you know and basically yeah we should have killed Negan a long time ago Durr. but you know it kind of put him in a good situation <laughs> because we had uh, you know the tribe separate with you know uh, uh, Morgan and Carol going and finding Ezekiel's tribe with the Knights which I think are going to be very beneficial because they're already thinking about a plan to you know override or overthrow Negan so Carol's going to be mad because Morgan's going to have to be the one to tell Rick and them that they have this new crew, they're going to find out where she is. Right. Yes. So, I mean, Carol, you know, whatever. Um, and then uh, the Ocean Siders, you know, they're already down and they got a bunch of guns too. Yeah. So, um, and all those chicks can shoot. Like, damn, oh, they yeah. shoot. But they're yeah. also going to be mad. That's going to be a difficulty, or a difficult episode in itself to try oh, to yeah. even get down there to convince them. Because they don't them. want anybody to know that they're, that they're Right. Really I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to show up with like some, uh, <laughs> one of those SWAT shields or something like, yeah, like come help us. Don't mm. shoot! Like, I don't know how no, they're going to get down You know there. who I think yeah. who might rebuttal it Amazon for them? Actually, I bet, you 50, yeah, I bet you 50 bucks. Maggie's going to be the one to kick it in the gear for them. Maggie's going to go over there and be like, I'm fucking prego. I'm going to go over I'm there and kick these guys ass. Guns. He Who's killed coming? my husband, batted him in, and I have his child. And Maggie's going to be the one to square that off. They're going to be like, she killed. they killed your man too? Let's freaking kill him! We just got through seeing season seven, mid-season finale. Damn, finale. Finale. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's a blooper. It was just oh, like, dang. oh my god. I remember just like, this is a great movie. It's <laughs> a great movie. movie. I remember, got your hero to villain complex. I did, it? and after I walked out of the theater, I actually it took 